Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the new feature in Power Apps Mixed Reality Measure. Now, this new feature did sneak in, and there was no big announcement about this. However, if you are one of those users who's either using this measure feature or planning on it, then this is something that you need to be aware of because it's actually pretty slick. So that's the plan. Stick around. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. Now, before we deep dive, I just want to confirm that the measure feature I'm talking about is the mixed reality measure feature. So if you go in your Power Apps Canada Studio, you click on the insert tab. If you go to the right on the ribbon and click on mixed reality, you click on the drop down. This is it, the measure in tab. When you click on it, it has you know a button type of look and feel. But that's that's the one that I'm talking about. It's this um, you know features additional enhancements that we're going to talk about. All right. Now, before I move forward, we got to go back and see what it really was in the past, right? So we can do some comparison. For that, we're going to rewind back and look at a video I had done back in July of 2020. And there you can actually see what measurement was all about. So I was actually had to go ahead and look for that video. And this is it, all right? So I'm going to go and play it. Um, and I'll put the link to this video in the, in the description below because it's actually a great video to go and get started with what mixed reality is, some of the characteristics like there's segments that you need to be fam familiar with so I'll put that link in you can go and watch that later on so I'm going to go and play on this video and basically here's where I come in I click on the length this is similar to the same functionality and I had put this plank of wood and we were doing a measurements and comparison and I just kind of showed you how this all works together now at this point we're going to do a measurement all right so I start from the left I make sure that I've got a you know a good point or a focus point and then once I start the measurement I go ahead and now measure all the way to the right, right? So I'm going to stop. And the moment I stop, this is the important thing, right? So when I stop, I got the measurement and I'm going to pause over here. So this is pretty neat because what you got was the measurement, all right? Now, notice how the app functions, specifically that measurement functions. You've got this feature in the bottom, all right? This is what it looked like. These four controls which are there in the bottom, that's what it was. And also notice nothing was on top over here, right? So basically, if I went ahead and did this measurement, it tells me here's your measurement, and then I would have to go ahead and either I can take a picture or I can do additional measurements. I hit submit. We would have to go back to the gallery, and in the gallery, I can go and see all these measurements that I took. Well, now that you understand how this was back in you know, almost over a year ago, let me show you this new feature and functionality that we have. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is the app and I'm just sharing the app directly on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button which is measure in MR. And the moment I click on this button, you'll go ahead and see a couple of things. By the way, I, I don't have that plank of wood anymore, uh, but I have something better. And this is thanks to um, uh, Chase or Charles Sterling who had actually built it, I won this award. Anyway, that's a whole other discussion. Now, do you see on the top, there is something called as measure one you see that? Well, that is the new functionality. Also, if you see on the bottom, right below where it says tap plus to start measuring, there's a little bit more over here. Before, there were only four items. Well, now there is something which is a hamburger menu, which is you know right next to the submit button. Well, these are two new functionalities, but let me, let me test it, all right? So I'm gonna go and now do the same thing. I'll do a measurement. So I'll click on the plus, and we're gonna go and do a measurement on the right, and I'm right there. Now, moment I finish this measurement, on the top, you got this new functionality. It's going and saying, hey, you finished the first measurement and its measurement was 43 uh, centimeters or 0.43 meters. As you can see, it's giving me both. Now, if I were to go ahead and say, do another measurement like that, I'm going and doing another measurement and I'll say it's successful. Now on the top, it told me measurement two. So let's go and check this out. I'm gonna go and now click on it and you see this functionality right there in the measurement. This wasn't there before. Before, we had to actually go ahead and complete it. Like, I wouldn't see any of this. I would just click on the submit button. I would go back. I would look at my gallery. I was like, ah, man, that's not what I'm looking for. Let me come back over here. It was a little bit tedious work because there was additional work required. Now, it's all here directly inside while you're measuring. And the beauty of it is I can actually go and now click on any one of them. So let me say the second one, I can click on it and say, okay, there's only one segment, which makes sense because we only did one you know, measure. Um, I was like, you know what, that's not the one I want to do. So I can go and delete it. 
and I can click on the bottom, it says continuing measuring. And right here, while we are in the process of measuring and using mixed reality, I can continue my measuring. So now I can say, yeah, in fact, what I want to do is actually I want to go and measure it this way. And I can complete that measurement. And have you noticed, it went ahead and automatically went from measurement one to measurement three because we had already used the term measurement two, which again, makes sense. And also, if all said and done, if I want to just wipe off everything and you know restart on the top right, I can do the refresh and I can get started again and it just starts all the way. So if I would now do a full measurement this way, I'll go back, you know, I just take from here to here, or I can go ahead and do that to that, you know, basically just doing that. It's giving me all of these measurements. I can go and click on it. I can get some information, get some information, and it just works. And just while we are here, the quick thing I wanted to show you was on the top right, if you see over here, it basically, that green dot, that green dot basically says that, hey, you are using your camera at that time, and this is live going on. But when all the measurements, I can basically, you know, get out of it. I can, on the top right, I can click on X, or on the bottom, I can actually write, I can click on that hamburger menu, which is the exact same thing as I can clicking on the top with the measurement six. Just in case, clicking on the top where it says measurement six, if that's not intuitive, you can always click on that hamburger menu and it will go ahead and do, you know, the same thing. And then all said and done, I can click on submit and this all is the exact same thing. I can click on submit, submit is good, takes me now back into that same screen and over here in the gallery, I can see that measurement four, measurement five, measurement six, it is all directly available over here. So this is that new functionality of the measure feature. And as you can see, once we come back into the screen, it's still really powerful because it went ahead and gave me the same measurements. Everything that I saw over there, it, put, you know, it projects it directly into this gallery. But the best thing is now if you do a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm showing you both of them at the same time. You know, the new one, which is right here and the old one, which is right there. Now that you see how the specific time when you're doing the measurement, that in the new one, you actually see the measurements and you have the options to go ahead and do the, you know, the measuring, changing, re-measuring it all while you are live in that measurement section. Well, if on this side, you didn't have any of that, you had to get out of it, come back in, it was a little bit more extra steps. And I really love this, this new functionality and major kudos to the product team who delivered this to us. Wasn't that exciting? Well, it got me excited because this was one of those things where I actually didn't ask for it but I didn't realize how much extra work I was doing until this new feature came out. And I was like, man, they really made this a lot easier. So again, I just want to thank the product team for going, you know, stepping above and beyond for getting this done. But if now is the time, like if you haven't been using this, but if you now think that, hey, I have some use and some scenarios, then now is the time to step in because this new feature is going to make your job a lot more easier. So hopefully this was helpful. And as always, keep using Power Apps. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Remember, this is all free with fresh content that is updated on a weekly basis. So if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you and spread the word. If you haven't already, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.